Hello and welcome back to my Lego Harry Potter Years 5 to 7. My name's Zeppelin G993 and I thought in this part I would start off as the wonderful Aberforth Dumbledore because he does have one heck of a moan in Deathly Hallows and you know he then comes forth and sort of regains his prestige through helping out in the Battle of Hogwarts so I thought I'd give him this chance in free play mode as we do level 3 of Deathly Hallows part 2 which is Burning Bridges. Beware of burning bridges before you cross them is all I say about that. It's very easy to get um, True Wizard in this part, hence why I've already got it. But there you go, really. <laughs> so, we'll be getting the other collectibles, the Shouldn't Imperil, the three characters, and of course the quest pieces. So let's have a fourth there. He's right at the start as well, he's the first character you can unlock. I'm not sure if that's because of his uh, his surname, perhaps? Or, or, or first name, rather? Aberforth, you know, first in the alphabet? I don't know. I'm not sure how this game really sort of sort, sorts it out, but having said that, it would make sense because you then have, right at the very end, you have Sakurai Smith, who's like everyone's least favourite character when you think about it, really. So, yeah, that kind of makes sense. Anyway, let's get on with the level. I had a very interesting comment on the last part from Nick Believe It. He was quoting some, uh, you, you were quoting some song lyrics. Some, I picked up a few from Avenue Q. And then there were also a couple of bits from um, Bowling for Soup, I think it was. Now, I would never have put Harry Potter and Bowling for Soup together in the same context. But there you go. You can mix and match of all kinds of things in this day and age. Uh, yeah, in interesting, you know, interesting that. It'd be interesting to hear what you think of this, uh, of this level in free play mode. Let me know your comments in the comment section below, of course. And if you could, like and subscribe. I would mega appreciate it. More than anything in the world right now. So here we go. Uh, might as well do this little doohickey because it's quite cool and groovy. The sun and the, everyone likes sun and clouds and birds. The core ingredients for a classic Hogwarts portrait. So in this first, I mean, the levels sort of split up into three sections, aren't they? When you think about it, you've got this section here finding the Grey Lady, and you've got blood up, blood up the bridge, the awesome job for Neville and Seamus. Like seriously, imagine being picked to do that. You'd be like, yes, actually. Like approved vandalism, that's amazing. Um, but it's always hip and groovy. And just, yeah, of course, every character looks amazing in Spectre Specs. And then, of course, you've got at the very end Chamber of Secrets, one with Hermione. Um, so there's three collectibles in this part. Um, I think there's two crest pieces, if I remember correctly. And then we also have a. Hmm, I think it's a character, it's a Grey Lady character, actually. She's right at the end. A very easy one, a very easy one to miss as well, actually, I would say. But once you've uh, once you found it the first time, you, you know it's there. Obviously, <laughs> he speaks for truth, Zeppelin G993. Right, let's just do this. Come on, hammer! Don't let me down. I need a magic hammer more than anything right now. So it's just these two who are actually, you know, fighting the way through the school. Because I thought the students and teachers were meant to be defending the school. Just not happening, isn't it? No, we're just, you know. They're probably all having a good drink down the pub, down the free broomsticks with a hog's head, seeing as Aberforth's on their side. Dear Louise. So over here's the first collectible, we need a dark... Basically, whenever you see a dark wizard piece in these levels, you know it's going to be a collectible or something of value. So where is our... Oh, we've got Scabia, very nice. Hello, beautiful. Hello, treacle. Bit of cockney air going on. Hello, cockney wizard, what's going on? Apple and bears, yeah? You are? Right? Yeah? Yeah, I, I just can't do accents. So what you need to do here... If the hint from Dumbledore down there wasn't enough, it's used Aguamenti, lift up the tank, and out comes Slivering Crest Piece. Bingo! First one done. Another one, I think, because you, you, you sort of do that, and unless you read the prompt on the bottom of the screen, if for some reason you just seem... Because for honest, I ignore those a lot of the time. I'm so used to seeing them, I just go, Dumbledore, I've got this, okay. Leave it alone. Um, so I, I, I often ignore those. If you did ignore that, you would be a bit confused as to what you're meant to do next because it sort of it goes up. And then, I don't know, there's a, there's a little prompt because you do get the um, the sort of the blue shine that says oh, Aguamenti. Like these things here. But This is collectible number two, by the way. Another crest piece for our collection. And more crest piece you can shake a snitch at. I like that. Shake a snitch at. Let's shake a snitch at. Right. And ignore this section here completely. You haven't got to do anything here. Unless you want to get the studs. But you can just ignore it. Because if you, if you should have a strength character in your arsenal. So you can avoid making the potion. Save yourself a bit of time here and there. You know, we're all busy people. Want to get through these as quickly as possible. Bogrod, who is still... Actually, no, is that, is that Gripook? Yeah, it is Gripook, actually. Gripook and Scabia. Now, I would never put those two together. 
Put them two together, you make five. Get it done. Boom. Oh, the lovely stars. So, well, I don't really need them actually, but I suppose, having said that, it's good just because of the fact that you still want to get enough stars to get the characters and all the extras, you know. So you can make the skeleton here. This is a sort of uh, a prelude to one of the collectibles. You have to do that again in the Chamber of Secrets, but with three of the skeletons there to get one of the last collectibles. So maybe that's sort of giving you an idea of what's to come. Foreshadowing, that's the word. Anyway. Let's put out the fire and get it for the Grey Lady and see what she's moping about now. But she's like, I'm, I'm dead, I'm dead! It's like, yes we know! Heard the story a billion times before. Money's not going to change it. So after that's happened, it's actually gets a bit angry. Give him a hit. And he'll open his hat. He's like, leave me alone! Let me get the Grey Lady. Wonderful. Ooh. Story mode like, oh, I'm very sad, I'm a Grey Lady. Angry, angry, rah, angry. Let's ignore that for now. <laughs> it's quite funny, because think about it, the Grey Lady, you sort of, uh, you get the Bloody Baron, and the Fat Friar, and, uh, who else is it? Yeah, just Nick of course and Peeves. They're all mentioned in the first book, you know, that's covered there. They never really sort of mentioned the Grey Lady until... I think this one really. She's, it's almost as if the Dicker Rowling goes, oh yeah, should probably include the Puff Ghost at some point. Oh good lord. Fire! Leave me alone, fire. So now we've got, of course, to get the um, explosion pieces. Um, for the um, explosives, the dynamite, to light up the bridge. And I say, like, I say light up the bridge in the most uh, sort of casual way. This music, by the way, I think it's called Statues. It is awesome. Statues and Quad Apocalypse, both the same sort of theme. I see those are so, so good. I'm a massive fan of Alexander the Displat, so... Is it Displat or Displat? I'm not sure. Silent T or what, what have you. But yeah, that does an amazing job in these two films. Right, up we go to get this character. Lovely jubbly, Seamus, looking very neutral. <laughs> I think it's a good word to use. Uh, so that's there. There's also one more collectible... Um, further along, shooting in peril. And then I think, yeah, and the last two collectibles are in the, uh, the Chamber of Secrets. Da, da, da. Whoa. Oh my, oh no, oh no. Calm down, one, calm down. There's still one more bit to do. The other collectibles not to the other side of the, uh, the bridge, so let's hurry our way along here as quickly as possible. Typical, yep, typical blooming gripper. Can't take him more than five minutes without him getting hit by something. I've gone the wrong way. I need to go downstairs first. Oh, the shame and humiliation, right. Come on, Seamus, do your thing. That cute little Irish grin of yours. <laughs> Imagine at this point, some, 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 some of the students would be like, why is there a goblin in our on our bridge, and it's like, it's the Battle of Hogwarts. Nothing makes sense anymore. Whatever happens, happens, really. Get that down, it's mine, thank you. It's like, Mr. Spider, I know you like your shiny things, but... Actually, no, that's crows, isn't it? Or ravens? One of those? The blackbirds that like their shiny things. And oh my good lord! Or was it a jackdaw? I have no idea. I'm not really a bird enthusiast in that. I like birds, but, you know, I'm not crazy into them. Anyway, <laughs> gone completely off topic. Let's just get to outside the bridge quickly. Shame is just like, come on, Griphook. Get with the plan. What we should have really had would have been Dean Thomas and Griphook, because they, yeah, they sort of, they're on the one together for quite a bit, aren't they? That'd be quite a cool little collab there. Cut out the fly. Yum, yum, yum. Feel not my tum, but the spider's tum. Just, just imagine as well, like having um, like a full orchestra just off screen playing this dramatic soundtrack, and and Seamus being like, "Can you turn it down a little bit? It's a bit loud up there. We're trying to blow up a bridge, and you're putting us off with your dramatic music. It's very lovely. It's very nice, but I think it's more for the Albert Hall rather than Hogwarts Bridge." <laughs> Neville's like, "Seamus, what are you on about?" Like, I, I don't really know, man. 
Sometimes I surprise myself by someone there. One more to get there. Ooh. Splendid. Come on, come on. Any bear. So, the last set to put up here to go all the way up to the top of here, get yourself a dark character. Once again, that little indication of that's, that's not, I thought I was past a black for a minute there. Do we have. Is that our dark character? It is Mrs. Black looking just completely, utterly evil as ever. Just trying to get away from this actually. Um, so we now we'll get Agumenti. And this will release. The poor student in is being eaten alive by a blooming plant. I mean, that's just embarrassing, isn't it, really? He's definitely not a Gryffindor. <laughs> Maybe he is! Yeah, he is! Good lord, a Gryffindor got eaten by a plant. Plus, a sprout will not be happy of you, mate. There's, there's, there's also, there are so many studs up here. There's proper nice little secret area here. And then he runs off, probably into the path of all the DM. <laughs> he runs out of the barrier into the, uh, the Death Eaters, probably. Right, we need a uh, fang. There we go. Go on, Gripook. You have some fun. You like shiny things. Oh, maybe you can't pick it up. You crazy person. Oh, you need to have a wand. You can't just pick it up with your hands. You've got to have a wand. Of course, it all makes sense now. Right, there we go. Part done. I'm looking groovy. Off to the Chamber of Secrets we go. One Hermione having a romantic date. In the sewers, basically. That's what it is. What a weird old place it is. So, make the first skeleton here. This one's really obvious. You can destroy it as well if you want to, and that gets you. That's the first of three skeletons for you to get. Just over here. Very important over here, we have collectible number two. Or just put these three poor old little fishes. No wonder how how long these have been like this. I've no idea, but they're probably, I'm amazed, not dead by now. Put them all into the. Lake and you get little number three, crest piece, Ravenclaw. Lovely chubbly. Now we need a uh, dark character, more collectibles here. Always tell. Come on, Professor Black. Professor Black? Mrs. Black. It's not often I ask for an evil witch. But there you go. This one's quite cool actually. So, perfect actually having Fang still. Fang do your thing. Mrs. Black, no beating Fang either. That's not cool. It's not what we do in this day and age. Uh, do, do, do. Hermione, 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 where are you? So many cats to get through. By the time you... St oh, good lord. Uh -huh. Hi guys, I'm very, very sorry about that. I've no idea what caused it to uh, go completely overboard there with the recording. I just had to edit that bit out because unfortunately the recording started to get a bit skew with. I've no idea what it is, but it's happened once or twice in previous videos. It's just gone... But then, I was just watching it on my screen and it was getting particularly bad. Uh, so basically all I did there really was just um, get Hermione's bag to open up and you get this snake out basically. You make that. I'm now keeping an eye on my screen to make sure nothing bad's happening. I'm going to have to... Uh, well first of all I'll reconnect everything. I'll reconnect everything and do a some test runs and see uh, see how long it lasts. It always seems to get around that mark as well. The sort of the 13 minute, 12 minute mark before it then buggers up. So I'm not sure if that's just a strain on a recording device maybe. I mean, I've had it for a couple of years now, the Roxio, but... I huh. can't see why it would not be even problematic. Um, if nothing, if that, if that doesn't work, like rebooting it, I'll try some new cables. And if that doesn't work, I'll have to buy another Roxio, which you know is money. It's always difficult at the moment because Fang, stop glitching out, you crazy dog. Um, anyway, uh, so basically, to get this bit over here, so basically there's two dark bits: one over there where the snake is, um, and then one over here. And you basically want to take this bit over to a snake's mouth, open, put it in the like so, and you get Neville in cardigan mode again. Very lovely. Very lovely. Um, so now I actually get on the rest of the level. That important part as well, you know. Almost forgot about the level. You no, know, had so much to do uh, just sorting this out. Right. Um, come on, Miley. Do your thing. It's in the bag. It's <laughs> so annoying I have to keep an eye on the screen now. 
But hopefully, hopefully it will happen again. I'm praying like hell. But one, a couple of you haven't noticed it in the last few videos, so it's definitely an issue I need to address. It's not, not for you guys if you can't watch it after all. Um, there we go, we'll do Arthur in his suit, looks lovely. Right, let's go. Back to level. Oh my good, goody aunt. There we go. Right, here we go. Along we go. Oh, good lord. Right, where's the. Uh, come on, one. One wedding mode looking very lovely indeed. Could get a haircut for it though, couldn't he? But no. Honestly, wrong. Make shame on your whole family. Take this along. That's a side. And voila! <laughs> oh my. No, Ron, leave it alone! And don't get a pigeon out as well. <laughs> He's had enough for one day. Yellow, red, blue. What? Green, yellow, red, blue. That's what I did. Maybe I'll it too fast. It's too fast, my own good. Right, here we go. The game finally lets us. And here we are. So first of all, here. What I'm going to do is get that over there. Put this thing together. Number two. Oh yeah. All right. There's so much in these sewers. I mean, seriously, all these pads and everything like that. Would Salazar Slytherin have gone to all this effort? I don't know. Someone else has been down here. I think. There's too much going on here. Come on, Hermione. Hermione, damn jacket mode. It's, it sounds like something you'd see out one of those sort of old like Barbie games, really. Oh wow, Hermione unlocked denim jacket. Whoa! But there you go. Maybe I'm just being too cynical about it. Right. Actually, no. We need we need some uh, we need some light first. Light. Come on, come on, good book. Your thing with the wheels. There we go. And that skeleton will keep dancing for as long as he's there until we do this. Sorry. Poor skeleton. Now have some fun with this. I went along with this and I lost my character for a bit. And I was like, what on earth? What, where have they got to? And it turned out that um, I'd run over the character with the blimmin' air. With, with that crazy device. And he hadn't been able to get up. And I was like, oh, sorry, man. Sorry, dude. There we go, Scabby will do. Scabby will do nicely. So now we need a blimmin' egg. Now we finally need those blimmin'. Actually, no, we don't actually. What am I saying? It's over here. Fang, oh, good lord. Fang, do your thing. Diggity, diggity, dig. And then we finally get that last skeleton together. And then we get our oh, crest beetles, that's what we deserve. All the studs, that will be jubbly. I'll just show you as well what this, um, because of course you see that now with the spectra specs and you think, what on earth could that be used for? If I show you, I mean, this gives me a nice a nice chance as well to have a scabby there in the glass looking very lovely indeed. <laughs> right, over to here. Oh, what am I doing? What am I doing? What am I doing? This basically, put on this. You get some lovely, lovely stud pieces. Should you say wish? And you get a frog to jump around on. <laughs> and, just, and I know what you're thinking. Why? <laughs> but there you go. It's blooming game. Ah, oh, dancing skeleton. There we go. <laughs> right, Hermione, do your thing now. Good lord. Yeah, so this is quite a long level. I think my little uh, interlude as well has made it a bit of a longer part. But there you go. This is the crazy, crazy life that I lead. <laughs> and 
And that's it done. Level completo. Spell that you never hear of in the game, actually. <laughs> but that is it. Down and out for the count. So apart from the uh, slight technical glitches here and there, we've made it through this about. I hope you enjoyed the part. If you could, let me know your favourite part of this part. Down in the comments. Like and subscribe. I'd really, really appreciate it. I promise that I will get this all the technical glitches sorted out soon because it is bugging me a lot as well. But until then, we'll be doing the next part, obviously, level 4. I can't remember, I think it's called Fiendfire. So we're doing that in replay mode. More student in peril, more Hogwarts quest pieces, more Harry Potter magic. It'll be awesome. See you then. Choose a magical object. Broomstick, cauldron, one yeah. toad. How is a toad magical? Sorry, but really? It's the amphibian. Just because it's green and has four legs doesn't make it magical. I doubt you'd find that in Fantastic Beasts somewhere to find.